this video, I'm going to quickly show you how to do a number line on Desmos. So the first thing you want to do is make a horizontal line, and we're going to set that horizontal line at y equals 0. That's going to give us this um, straight horizontal line. We are going to make that a bit darker, more pronounced. And let's say we want that line to exist between, for example, negative 2 and 5. What we need to do is set the domain. So we're going to use the French bracket, which is just to the right of the letter P. And we're going to go from negative 2 less than X less than 5. And what that is going to do is going to limit our horizontal line to between negative 2 and positive 5. Now, if we want open dots or closed dots, we're going to have to put those points at the end of our line segment, which means we are going to have the point negative 2 comma 0. Uh, sorry about that. And we want to turn it red. If you just hold down um, on the dot to the left of the line you're working in, you will get the color change. And we are going to want it to be, if we want it to be less than, we want this open dot. Okay? So you can see now that I have that open dot at the end. Let's say we want to make that other end an, an inclusive um, dot or a less than or equal to. I'm going to add the equal to right underneath there. And we are going to need to graph the point 5 comma 0 since that's where the dot would show up over here on the horizontal line segment. We're going to again turn that to red. So I'm going to gently hold on that dot. I'm going to turn it red. And you can see that I have the option of making it open dot or a closed dot, but I need to manually do that. Since I made it a less than or equal inequality, I need that to be a closed dot. So right now we have a line segment that is represented by this inequality. Negative 2 is less than x is less than equal to 5. If you want to put the labels um, on those dots, you need to select the label. And I don't really want the entire ordered pair. I just want the negative 2. So I'm going to relabel that to be from negative 2 to 5. And if you don't want all the background, if you don't want the x-axis and the y-axis, you go up to the little wrench in the right-hand corner and you select, we're going to get rid of the grid. We're also going to get rid of the x-axis and the y-axis. And what you have now is just your line segment. Now let's say I want to put a specific point on there. For example, I want to graph the point 1 on that number line. What you have to remember is that's the point 1 comma 0. And again, I want to turn it, maybe you want this to be a contrasting color. Perhaps I want it to be um, orange or black. Let's make it black so it's nice and bright. Um, let's say I want to make sure that this label that I put on it, right, I'm going to change that label to a 1 is between. So you can actually write some words here. And if I want that label to show up underneath, the other thing you have choices on is, again, if you hold that button down, you can move this label down here. It lets you go below the axis. So if you want a little bit more emphasis there, you can do that. So this is a nice way if you need to insert this into a document. You can ten, then take a screenshot of that and you don't have any of the axes or other um, you know, kind of mess that goes along with that. So this is a nice example, it's a little bit of a template for you to emulate as you are working in your project if you choose to do it digitally. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you have questions, please let your teacher know.